With one sordid affair and a whopping seven marriages, Elizabeth Taylor could have written the book on romance. Despite her many mates, Taylor had just four children. Her grandchildren, however, number into the double digits. Although she has since passed, Elizabeth Taylor's grandchildren are keeping her legacy alive. Layla Wilding in 1971, Taylor got to meet her very first grandchild, Layla Wilding. Growing up in Northern California, Layla spent lots of time with her grandmother, including almost every holiday and occasional Sundays. These days, Layla is a graphic designer in Portland, Oregon, and works closely with the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, as Taylor did when she was alive. She explained, We are determined to support the legacy of our grandmother and let the world know the foundation is thriving. Naomi DeLucci Wilding Layla's little sister, Naomi DeLucci Wilding, was born in 1975. Despite being just four years apart in age, they had different relationships with Taylor. Unlike Layla, Naomi was only able to see her grandmother over the holidays due to living in the United Kingdom. Like her big sis, Naomi is also an ambassador for the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Additionally, she runs the Wilding Cran Gallery, a contemporary art gallery in Los Angeles, California, along with her husband, Anthony Cran. Like Taylor, Naomi has grown up to be a true success. Elizabeth Eliza Carson Maria Burton, Taylor's adopted daughter with husband Richard Burton, went on to have a child of her own in 1982, Elizabeth Carson. When Elizabeth, or Eliza as she prefers to be called, was a teenager, she often stayed at her grandmother's sprawling estate. While Eliza admitted that she loved the glitz and glamour of her grandmother's lifestyle, she appreciated her humanitarianism most of all. Said Eliza, who works for the Department of Child Protection in Manhattan, she always stood up for what was right. Like her older cousins, she too is an ambassador for the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Caleb and Andrew Wilding In the early 1980s, Taylor's son Christopher Wilding and his wife Aileen Getty adopted a son named Caleb. Soon after, Getty gave birth to son Andrew Wilding. Despite a tumultuous childhood that included their mother's HIV diagnosis and drug addiction, Caleb and Andrew have grown up unscathed. Andrew has even taken to Hollywood, much like his grandmother, as a cinematographer. Quinn Tibby Taylor's sixth grandchild, Quinn Tibby, grew up to be an artist as well as a co-trustee of the Elizabeth Taylor Trust, Town & Country reported. After his beloved grandmother's death, Quinn realized he wanted to be more involved in the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. He explained, Through that experience, we had the opportunity to see how crucial it was for her family to be participating in her legacy. Tarquin Wilding Tarquin Wilding is Layla and Naomi Wilding's younger brother and the seventh grandchild to Taylor. The Taylor family tree is, of course, only made exponentially more confusing when cousins like Tarquin and Quinn share such similar names. That's not all Tarquin has in common with his family members, though. Similar to Andrew Wilding's career as a cinematographer, Tarquin grew up to embrace Hollywood. At just 28 years old, he's already working as a filmmaker. Reese Tibby at 27, Reese Tivy has already accomplished so much. According to the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, Reese grew up in a rural part of upstate New York before moving to the city to pursue a Bachelor's of Music in Jazz Performance at the New York University Steinhardt School of Culture, Education and Human Development. These days, he's a triple threat, a trumpeter, vocalist and a songwriter. In addition to performing throughout the Big Apple, Reese has taught music and yoga to middle school children all over the city, from Brooklyn to Manhattan to the Bronx. Lowell Wilding For Lowell Wilding, Taylor's eighth grandchild, it's obvious that the love and appreciation for his grandmother runs deep. Lowell said his hope is to continue her legacy as well as preserve it. He has since backed up his words with actions. As of the making of this video, he is working to create a new addition to the Elizabeth Taylor Trust and Elizabeth Taylor Archive. Like many of his relatives, Lowell lives in Los Angeles. This way, he stays close to Beverly Hills, where his grandmother's trust is based and her legacy is, as Lowell hoped, preserved and continued.